Hey guys, Steven here, and this time we'll be taking a look at another room tour of mine. Like a nerd room. So, <laughs> there you go. And pretty much, yeah, as you guys can see, um, the futon is not in my room anymore. I actually put my queen size bed back in. So, usually I would think that the futon would create more space, but I was wrong. It's actually the bed in there in the corner that would um gain more space like this so yeah and i kind of miss my bed too so usually a futon is kind of one of those things that you know it's just a substitute but not a really good one because i've been sleeping that futon for almost like three-fourths of the year or maybe half a year i don't know but yeah here is my room tour or Here's the overview of the room, and if you guys notice, I've sold a lot of my stuff. I've sold most of, or all of my Marvel figures, actually, so now I only have DC and some Godzilla stuff. I sold my Japanese figures or anime figures, and there you go. So, so hopefully you guys bear with me. This will be a pretty quick video, considering there's not a lot to talk about. But yeah, I really do like the simplicity of my room. It's less crowded and less messy. In my opinion but yeah so let's just get started right here um here's my door where i enter uh car keys back scratcher don't ask i do have this what do they call these totes bag or just a bag uh amazing spider-man bag that i got as a gift so that's cool uh this poison ivy with the santa hat I decided to put it on, but this Poison Ivy cardboard cutout of the Arkham Asylum video game, which is still my favorite Arkham video game, actually. So, you got Poison Ivy right here. You have my mirror right here. So, this closet mirror. And then you have the Arkham Origins poster. And then you have the Superman Returns toy line. I wasn't a fan of a mo of the movie as a kid because I was really disappointed even though it had really cool scenes. But I was a huge fan of the toy line, the merchandise, the marketing for this movie. But yeah, as a movie itself, it was pretty lame. So even though it had cool scenes. but And I love the toys. I know the toy line is disregarded by collectors just because, oh, it's aimed for kids. Uh, the sculpts are exaggerated and it looks nothing like... Brandon Routh, but I think it looks a lot like from the video game. If you guys ever played Superman Returns from the video game, that's pretty much what they were aiming for, which I thought was pretty cool. I thought the game was all right. So, yeah. And then you got a Batman poster right here, uh, Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows poster. You got the Marvel Minimates poster. You have the Pez uh, Snowman dispenser thing, which I got as a gift as well. And... Justice League Action 12-inch Wonder Woman. You got Hot Wheels from Fast and Furious, James Bond, and the Jetsons. You got this little knick-knack right here. You have um, pretty much a bulletin board full of trading cards or power-up rewards or rewards cards or whatever. So, there's that. And then you got a newspaper clipping of Power Girl. And then a catalog of Ninja Turtles. And then you have the a lanyard right here. Uh, a Thor and Iron Man lanyard by Funko. Because they, they're supposed to look like the Funko Pops. And then you have a desk right here. Which I use for reading comics or doing homework. Like worksheets and stuff. I don't think school these days or at least college these days do worksheets anymore. Maybe some professors do. Or even some teachers do. I don't know. But... Yeah, this is just a desk for that purpose, to read comics or to do homework on, or just to study, you know. And then you have uh, three Jack Pacific's Wonder Woman and three Jack Pacific's Big Figs uh, Batman. And yes, I have seven Superman Returns figures. I don't know why, it's just a lot of sellers seem to sell them cheap and they seem to sell them in lots or sets. So that's how I got as many as I did. So seven of them on card or not on card but you know loose and I really don't know I think it, there's nine of them on card right here so yeah that's crazy and then right here you have the in the back is the Mattel Batman v Superman Batmobile and in the front you have 
uh, two Mafex Wonder Womans and one Mafex Harley. And you have um, SH Figure Arts Harley and SH Figure Arts Wonder Woman in the front. So there's that. And then in the back, you got the Justice League Batmobile from Mattel. It's the gimmicky one for kids. And you also have the True Moves 12 inch. DC Aquaman figures. The one in the middle is the electronic one, while the other two are just the single boxed ones that are 10 bucks. But yeah, you got my comic book boxes right here, which should be around almost in the mid thousands when it comes to comics. I have like over a thousand comics in these boxes, so there's that. You have my game informers in here and a couple more trade paperbacks up there, which I did in my last video. And then in here, there's just more um, novels or books or some manga in there and some Marvel um, kids books. This is just pretty much what I had growing up or some of these novels are used during high school or whatever. So there's that. Not really interesting in here. And we've all seen this. Um, shelf full of DC and Marvel comics. This is pretty much the standout <laughs> in this room are these comics right here And let me backtrack a bit because I forgot to showcase this wall You got the amazing spider-man 2 poster man of steel this Harley Quinn suicide squad poster uh, this Warner Brothers plush on um, Batgirl from the animated series or the new Batman adventures Pez dispenser Catwoman the venom figure that I did an unboxing with um, with the Blu-ray and then the Venom poster which I got for free during free comic book day and you got the Amazing Spider-Man 2 which is my favorite movie uh, or favorite Spider-Man at least favorite Spider-Man live-action movie so fight me <laughs> I'm just kidding but but in all seriousness this is my favorite um, live-action Spider-Man movie uh, the Wolverine poster which is still a pretty cool looking poster and I thought the movie was pretty cool too and then the Avengers poster, like I said, we've already seen my comic shelf. And then Ninja Turtles, Marvel, Guardians, Godzilla, Arrow poster, another one I got as a gift. And then you have right here, this 19-inch um, or 20-inch Jack Specific classic Superman figure. It ha and then there's a Batman animated series Batmobile. And then water bottle coaster you know this cloth for my glasses and uh remote for my blu-ray and tv and then right here are just cups plastic and glass cups for anything really and i do have mugs in there too so it's for alcohol soda juice coffee whatever and then now we'll just get to right here i actually do have another superman returns box figures this is a double which is the Super Breath Superman because I already have one over there. So I guess I have another one. I don't know why. But and then you got the Hot Wheels Zack Snyder Batmobiles and the Arkham Batmobiles. So and then you have the Green Lantern movie power rings and uh, Wonder Woman pendant and uh, Bruce Lee Fanatics boxed figure. And you have Wonder Woman 12 inch figure from Batman Unlimited and a Wonder Woman figure from Total Heroes. You have a Wonder Woman poster right here. Then you got the Aquaman poster right here, which I think is really cool. And then you just have like more framed stuff of just my favorite comic covers. So there's that. And you have more right here. I know you guys can't see it due to the glare of the um, windows, but there's that. And it's getting darker, so. And then this is my bed. I know it's messy. You got a Spider-Man blanket and then a body pillow that's like messed up right here. But yeah, the bed's messy, but it is what it is. Then you have this nightstand right here. You got my wallet, my headphones, fan, uh, air fresheners or whatever. Um, you know, the liquid to clean my glasses with, glasses, cloth. And then you have a table, my backpack for school right here. And you have a Michael Keaton little shrine or collection right here. Because Michael Keaton is my favorite Batman along with Ben Affleck. So there's that. You got a stool right here. And you got this white platform to prevent leaks or water to go on the carpet. So from this mini fridge right here. And then you have 
Godzilla figures. I know two of them were from NECA. This one's the Bandai one from 2014, which has the atomic breath gimmick. And this one's the SH Monster Arts. So, there's that. I can't wait for, their new, for the new movie and their new action figures, too. Then you have a monster poster up here. You have my TV shows right here. And then DVDs of movies and stuff right here. Sorry for the glare. Then you got a Blu-ray collection right here. And two DC Multiverse 12 inch Wonder Woman and Deadshot. And you got Shazam, the figure right here from True Moves, the electronic one. And you got the DVD and Blu-ray player. You got Batman trash can or waste basket. And you have more Blu-rays right here. And I do have extra bookends, so I might use them for the Blu-rays because I'm thinking about putting more Blu-rays right here, Blu-rays right here, and maybe Blu-ray TV shows right here. So, yeah, these two are movies and in the middle are TV shows. You have a sound bar, more controls, and a glasses pouch. You got an alarm clock right here, which I don't even use it as an alarm. I just use it as a clock. You got a TV right here. Thinking about getting a new TV. I don't know. And then you have my main desk right here for a laptop. I'm thinking about getting a new laptop just for personal stuff like homework or email or whatever. But yeah, because this laptop runs fine, but I just want a new one just because. And you got speakers, you got mouse pad, mouse. You got a True Move Superman Reborn outfit figure. And then you have the 30 inch tall Superman Returns Superman and uh, Dark Knight Christian Bale Batman, which I was gonna sell this, but I remember my mom got me this as a gift, so I feel bad if I sold it. So I just decided to buy a Superman Returns 30 inch figure because um, I wanted to see these two in live action together. P considering Superman Returns mentioned the city of Gotham, why not have these two together? But never happened, that sucked. And then you have more, you have a Henry Cavill su a Superman and a Ben Affleck Batman, which sucks because Ben Affleck's leaving, or he already left as Batman, or he, he announced that he already left. That sucks. And then you have a little speaker thing, amplifier, or whatever that is, and then you have a Wonder Woman um, bus bank and a Kotobukiya Wonder Woman superpower statue. And then you just got tape, staplers, pencil sharpener, and notebooks, and paper and then you have my charger and my ps4 controller and the shredder and then the chair and then my ps4 and a lamp and a two-faced coin right here or a harvey dent coin technically and then you saw my high school diploma and then my gi joe poster and then these are pretty much the posters right here like a monster poster and then Injustice, everything is DC, The Flash, except Tron, which I'm probably going to replace soon. I'm going to replace it with a Shazam poster once it comes out. So, yeah. I love Tron. I love the first Tron movie and the second one, Tron Legacy. And here you go. And then you got the Batman poster. And that's pretty much my room. I know it's a lot more basic than it was before. Um, I personally like it. I think it's a lot cleaner, a lot simpler, and I like that. And, yeah, I only have DC figures because I'm more of a DC guy rather than a Marvel person. But, yeah, I still love Marvel as well. But, there you go. So, yeah, guys, this is Steven, and I'll see you guys next time.